Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Happy 4th of July! Woo! I'm getting ready to go to the pool with my husband. I thought I would do a quick video that I could edit while I was there and get out to you before the end of this holiday. So I have some news. After the video I did about the five Louis Vuitton bags that I would sell to fund dot dot dot, I had some inquiries mostly about my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I have a beautiful, or I guess I should say I had a beautiful Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the bicolor emprunt leather, gorgeous bag that I just did not use that much because of the Dress Up Your Purse Paris 15 bags that I have. I currently have two of them, but I actually have three more on the way because I absolutely love, love, love these bags. And I just find I gravitate to them more than I did to the Louis Vuitton bag. Part of it is that it's carefree. Part of it is that I think the Togo leather is a very luxurious. Part of it is that I've paired it with Louis Vuitton straps, so I've kind of personalized it and made it my own. This is a next fashion chain, and so I'll link the Dress Up Your Purse and the next fashion down below. I have discount codes for both, and this bag works out to be like $228 and change. And the petite version, which is like her east-west version, it works out to be, I think, around $220. And so I have those coming to show you, the petite version, a couple of them, and even another one of these. And so I felt 100% comfortable selling my bicolor pochette Matisse. I don't have any regret. I felt like it was the right decision. Now, I may pick up another bicolor piece in the black with that kind of nudie colored emprunt on it in the future. I'm not sure that I will. The nude color that offset the black was a little bit tricky to match. It wasn't a true like off-white cream color. It was more of a nude color against the black. So I did have a little bit of a hard time pairing that combo with outfits. So we shall see. I've seen other styles like the Madeline BB that have intrigued me in that combo, but I just don't know if I will go that route again in the future. I still have this little beauty. Now, this is one of the five that I said I would let go for a special experience, assuming I didn't lose a huge chunk of change. This bag is gorgeous and it does have the bicolor as well. It is much easier for me anyway to pair with outfits than the black and nude color because this is more of a, a grayish taupe color with a true cream. And so even though this one has kind of a little bit of an odd shape, it does work well crossbody. Not as much for me under the arm, but it does really work well crossbody and the construction of it is quite lovely. So I still have a piece of the bicolor emprunt is the point of me bringing this one out to show you. Anyhow, I wanted to tell you what happened right after I did the video about the five Louis Vuitton bags that I would sell to fund dot dot dot. Now, when I did that video, I wasn't thinking, okay, I'm putting these bags for sale, but I did have people inquire again about the bicolor pochette Matisse as well as the My Lock Me BB. And I shared prices down in the comments and then I ended up removing them. I I really feel more comfortable just communicating about prices through direct message on Instagram or through my email address. And both of those are always linked down in my description box. But I had somebody inquire about this and I put the price down there and then they didn't reply. And so I ended up just removing it because I don't want to have prices down in my comments section. But this bag, you know, I love it. So I'm not going to sell it and lose money because I still love it. It's just when I got to thinking about why I bought it, got it to wear to sports events, and I guess the flashy LV on the front made me just feel slightly self-conscious when I carry it to that sort of event. That said, it is beautiful, and I have recently come into my red era, and I love wearing the color red. And so I think I can wear this in a lot of other situations where I'm not necessarily going to sports events. For example, here's a dress I wore when I was in Rome. It has this little tie thing that goes around the bust and ties under the bust. And I think you could put something like this with a dress and a little 
cardigan and it looks fabulous. So I think I just need to open my mind and not have this bag dedicated as a soccer bag because it's just not a soccer bag when it comes down to it. Of the bags that I showed in Sunday's video, and again, I'll link that video down below, the only one that I'd be willing to take a loss for would probably be my twist. Now the twist is a gorgeous bag. And again, I swapped the chains out. I still have the original chains. I just swapped it out for some from Next Fashion that are lighter weight. The way that the strap clips to the leather bit, this is the Louis Vuitton clip. And I could just swap whatever chain I wanted to change the look of the bag, which is pretty cool. And it also made it lighter weight because the original chain is way chunkier. But this is the one bag that I would sell for less than what I paid for it because it just doesn't work for me as well as I thought it would. But I'm not going to take a huge loss on it either because I think it's gorgeous and I do wear it. So none of the bags that I showed in that video was I not wearing at all, if that makes sense. I was using all of them, but just not as much as I would like. And you pair that with the fact that I felt like if I let them go, I really wouldn't miss having them. I wouldn't have a sense of loss. And I could see using that money to fund an experience. And that is where this video is going. So the day after I made that video, my sister-in-law contacted me as well as the rest of our family on my husband's side and said, would anybody want to go see Taylor Swift? And Taylor Swift, I mean, I'm not like a huge Swifty by any means. I'm not really a huge fan at all, but I do like her music and I have enjoyed it since I was much younger in high school and in college. I enjoyed her music and I've listened to some of her more recent music because of my sister-in-law and I have enjoyed it, especially looking at it through YouTube on the videos. I am really impressed with a lot of her music videos. And so I thought, you know what? I feel like this is an opportunity to use some of the money from something I own and repurpose that because I'm not going to miss selling that thing, which was the bicolor pochette Matisse. I'm not going to miss it. And I'm going to use those funds to do something special with people I love. And so that is what I did. I sold the bicolor pochette Matisse to one of my lovely subscribers, somebody who's been active on my channel for a long time, who I know is going to appreciate it. And that makes me happy because here I have a bag that I basically am not appreciating as much as others that I have. And it's going to go to a place where it will be appreciated. And I like that. I like that about the pre-love market, how you can take something that somebody isn't using as much as they should and repurpose it and then have it get a whole new life. Not only that, the funds that I got from selling that bag, I'm repurposing those funds and turning them into a special memory. I'm going to be creating a special memory with people I love. And after my Mediterranean cruise that I went on, I have really realized the importance of creating special memories with those that you love. So it's not necessarily that it's a Taylor Swift concert for me. It's more about the fact that it is a family activity that I'm doing with all of my sister-in-laws and my mother-in-law on my husband's side of the family, as well as two nieces and creating a special girls trip moment that I think is going to be worth every penny. And it makes me feel really good to take something that I have that I'm not appreciating and turn that into something that means, potentially means so much. So that is just where I am with some of these luxury things in my collection. I'm kind of evaluating what I have, deciding if it's worth having. And if it's not, and it is easy to facilitate a transaction that is safe and secure and makes somebody on the other end happy and makes it so where I can do something special, then I am all for it. And one of you commented on my last video and said that you would take a loss. If you're not using something, you would just take a loss and get rid of those things and do something else with the money. Well, I just want to be clear, you know, it's not that I don't have the money to do these things. I just feel like if the stars line up and 
there is a sale that can be created that's safe for both parties, that makes both people happy, myself and the person on the other end, and then makes it so where I can do something special with those funds. I think that that is a wonderful situation to be in. I have no desire to like fire sale my collection. I enjoy the pieces I have. I love to talk about them with you, about the things I like, the things I don't like. And part of that is having a collection to share. So even though I may want to downsize what I have a little bit, it's certainly not going to be something that's like rapid fire selling 20 of my bags because I've already done that and what I have I really love. So I hope that all makes sense and I think I'm going to head off to the pool now and get some sun, spend some quality time with the hubby, and I will check back in with you again real soon. Have a wonderful holiday. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.